you created a website that isn't just about your band. It's also about what you do and offering advice to others. Like when did you start actually using the blog side of be, of what you had for your band? Like when did you start putting out information, recording videos and sharing what you're doing as far as trying to achieve uh, success musically? When did you start doing that? I think that was four years ago. Four years um, ago? Yeah, yeah. Um, my mom passed suddenly and I started realizing that she had dreams in her heart mm -hmm. that never, you know, came to fruition. And that's when I started saying, what can we do? Mm -hmm. You know, we've got all this material. We had 30 years worth of material that nobody's ever heard. Right. So, you know, and then way back when we used to do the poetry zine, we used to do the right. paper poetry zine. What's that? And, you know, for about years a uh, DIY um, uh, sorry uh, depressed international so it was uh, depressed international it was a zine and it was like a really anonymous you know I never showed my face and it was I only did a few copies and I would you know email I mean I would um, snail mail them out you know so it was huh. just a few and we started building a community around that record companies were sending me t-shirts and things to yeah. review and it's like what and they were making it seem like you know we were somebody and i'm like all it is is some paper right you know but it was poet poets would send their stuff and you know and we then did record reviews we did record reviews yeah. right so yeah. it was yeah a little bit of everything but it was right. building community right we got tickets to shows mm -hmm. yeah we got tickets to shows right, <laughs> right. so yeah 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 so that's when i started seeing that maybe there's a way even as anti-social as we are we like art and we like to, you know, consume art and then tell other people how we feel about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, there's got to be some kind of way that we can, with the technology that's out now, that we could do all of this. Yeah. And I think we started thinking about things a little bit more holistically. So meaning that it wasn't just about the music. It was, I think, more or less about a whole artistic lifestyle. And yeah. so I think once, um, once you start thinking about the personal computer Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, 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 you know, having the internet and things like that. And, and you have this gateway to express yourself in so many different ways that I, I think, you know, people like, you know, us, like you, you know, we're not unique. There's tons of people who are like that, who mm -hmm. have all these different facets to what they do and who they are. Mm -hmm. And we just started thinking about it. Like we can't be alone right. and just in doing the universe that, that so, people just don't yeah. think myopically yeah. just about music. There are other aspects to this and there are other people who are doing the same things that we're doing. So and we might maybe well we just can, gonna share it. I was about to say, share the things that we've learned along the way and then learn some things. I learned a lot. Like, right. Yeah. Right. I learned like you were you use what a headliner or something. I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> so just, just some of the things that we could actually share together that we don't need, you know, big brother above us. We just need to join forces right. or figure out how we can work together. So Right. So, yeah. yeah. And, and I think too is like and you know, I know for me it's it's sort of like you realize that at a certain point in time, you kind of age out of, the I guess, the business. regular music yeah. business, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, just because you are past a certain age doesn't mean that artistically you have lost your voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we recognize that people of all ages still have a musical voice, still yeah. have something musically relevant to say, yeah. have something artistically relevant to say. Yeah. And so, you know, again, just because it might not be an audience of, you know, two, three billion or whatever else that you have out there, yeah. um, you know, doesn't mean that there isn't an audience for what you do. Yeah. You know, so that, that was the other part of it. Yeah. Too, yeah. So. I love the fact too, that you were trying to get into the music industry, but at the same time you were releasing this thing that was just for you. And then the music industry was going, Hey, can we have you review something? I, I love that dynamic that like, it's, yeah. it's it, that's, that's interesting. Why, why did you start the, the poetry zine? I'm curious. I, yeah, I kept getting rejected. I kept sending out my poem <laughs> yeah. and I kept getting rejected. And I'm like, you know, cause then I started thinking, well, maybe I don't like poetry. And I started realizing I write poetry. Uh -huh. And so I started looking for other poets similarly situated. Mm -hmm. And I call it hand grenade poetry. Well, that's what one of my professors called it. The stuff that really kind of gets you, you know, it's kind of uh -huh. the, the, the punk rock of poetry. Uh -huh. The, you know, the Bukowski. And so, I mean, but there yeah. are people, you know, all around the world who are doing it mm -hmm. and who have no platform. Yeah. And so then after a while, it was us all together. You know, it's just that I was the one, you know, doing the zine. But yeah, we were all doing our stuff together. And then, of course, uh, I had uh, my first child and then that kind of changed everything. Yeah. But yeah, 
I just stopped doing it. But yeah, that, that that same ethos is what we were thinking when we got together. We said, we should be able to do this. You don't sell music just because of the music. You sell music because people like you. Mm -hmm. Right. And so there's got to be a way. What we started saying is we're real good at this at work, yeah. you know, making friends with people. And we're real good at making content. So yeah. how come we can't do all of this stuff together? Yeah. And mm -hmm. try to draw people to the music. We're really trying to to sell music. Uh, yeah. There it is. And, and, okay, and it. we are, but I think it's, it's it's that aspect too. But it's also, you know, I'm also a fan of music. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I, I also enjoy music. So yeah. um it, it's it's more than just being in a situation where, you know, I I like to sell what I do, but at the same token, I like talking about music yeah. because I just enjoy music. <laughs> I'm a fan of you know, artists that are out there too. I hear songs that are out there on the radio that I love too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's also having a forum and a, and a you know, a, a, an opportunity to talk about that. And I'm a gearhead too. Mm -hmm. You know, I salivate over new gear when it comes out too. Whether or not I need it is, you know, who knows about need? It's right. about, hey, this is something I want. You know, and that's usually how it works with gear, you know? Yeah. yeah. And my argument too is always like, I, when I put the stuff out there, I mean, I'm going to make it anyway. Even if I wasn't putting it out there, I'm still doing it. So it seems so silly, much like you saying, like, yeah. you know, you had 30 years of music. It's like, yeah. well, why is this just sitting here? You, know, you right. can put it out. And um, the gear thing, that's really funny because all the other guys in my band, are to they'll sit around and talk about gear. For me, I don't know what it is. I mean, I like gear, and when I use it and it's good, I go, that's really good. But they study it so much, it's like listening to people talk about football. I'm like, I don't know these numbers and names that you're saying. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. So it's like, I know what the gear is, but when they get really yeah. into it, they'll start saying these specifics and they're like, oh, and it has this thing that does the thing with this number thing. And I'm oh, like, I don't know what yeah. that means. I'm like, I know I like to use the Shure 58 for a microphone. Hey. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh. My, my keyboard plays notes. <laughs> <laughs> 